Hi, I'm Cheryl and you're watching Grazia Daily. I absolutely loved your book and what I really loved about it is looking at the photos. I love this one Aww. of you and the girls. I look like I'm having a moment there, doing it to myself. <laughs> what kind of emotions does that conjure up when you look at that? Oh, it's amazing. It's really special actually. What was the best thing about being back together? It's an indescribable feeling. I mean, we literally, we've lived and breathed each other for years, you know, all of our 20s. Um, and then we took the little break. Well, it was actually quite a long break in the end. But um, it was just special to be back together. It's a chemistry that you will never have with anybody else. And it's a comfort blanket. And our fans are incredible. It was just like a big party the whole tour. It was really special, actually. What was the feeling like when you had to sing your last song together last night? We actually, me personally, nobody really cried on the last night. Added that the night before it was really like, wow, it really hit you hard. And I couldn't stop once I'd started the floodgates. It was the fans, actually. There was a few at the front crying because we had a montage behind that was like, it, like a story of the 10 years. And once I'd gone, I didn't stop for the whole, like the last two songs. So I got mine out of the way and I, I tripped the last night like a party, like a celebration. And if you had to think back at the 10 years of Girls Aloud, is there one standout moment? Ooh. The Brit was a pretty special moment for us because we waited so long to get one. But there's so many standout moments. I mean, we grew up together. Um, this, there's so many. Over 10 years, you collect a lot, you know. If you if you could listen in on some of the conversations we had over the past few months about like reminiscing, there's been some really special moments. Well, that must be so fun getting together and having good reminiscing. I mean, it was amazing. So, I mean, we laughed and cried over some of the memories um, on this tour. Amazing. And will you be recording some more solo work now that... Well, I actually... I still, I was planning to release the third single before we started to work with Girls Aloud, but I decided to not do that and just to dedicate myself completely to the girls because I thought it might be confusing and conflicting, you know. So I parked my album for the Girls Aloud tour to make way for that. And I haven't really planned to do anything next, which is actually strange and daunting and kind of like, okay, so I have planned to not plan. And it's actually really nice. I'm just taking a breather. Yeah, you deserve it.